Inside we have the tent, the poles, and the plugs. What we have here is the inner tent. And we have the outer tent. We have to take the inner tent and put it aside. Because uh, unlike the dome tent, we have to put up the outer tent first and not the inner tent. We have, uh, just like on the dome tent, the Bergens, uh, Bergens Helium Dome 3. We have uh, colored codes on the sleeves. Can you see me now? Can you see me? I see you. No, I don't. I see a lens. Here we have the colored poles, which should fit perfectly inside the colored sleeves. Oh, there are three. There is a red pole on each side of the tent. Very easy to assemble. There. Just throw them like this and it put itself together. And uh, the tunnel tent should be much easier than the dome to put together, but we'll see how easy it really is. Probably should be a bit careful not to bend the poles. Stunning and groaning and making sounds because I'm an old man now at, at the age of 42. Oh, the pole divided itself, so make more pressure than stretching. this so if we stretch out the whole tent before we decide where it should be I will have uh, the opening towards this side because uh, and I will also have the tent on this side of the house because tomorrow the Sun will rise in that position and therefore, the house on this side will cast a shadow on the tent so I don't burn up before I wake up. Okay, so we're finding the plugs. This time, since, since I'm in the garden, I will pour out all the plugs at once. I think I'll have control over them, but in field, I probably would take out one by one. I will push the poles all the way and fasten them here in the end socket. Yeah, it's very easy. Very, very easy, so far, so far. Don't be too positive, because then it all breaks. And what's great about the tunnel tent is that you can just pull the wires and it looks like the whole tent is ready to enter. But of course, we have to uh, 
secure the rest of the tent and we now also have to check if we can see the whole tent in the lens. Yes. Something like this. Check again if I can see the tent in my lens. Yes, I can. And here we have two loops on each side, which is very important to be symmetric. And it's very important to make the duke, as we say in Norwegian, very tight because when it's raining or fogging up in the morning during night, we want the moist to run off the roof. Right now I'm not acting like myself because I'm being filmed by myself on two cameras and uh, I don't know exactly how to behave. Uh, I'm not, not an expert on filming myself, but that's why I do this. But I'm really looking forward to spend some night in, nice in the tent with my family this summer. I hope they will come with me. Uh, Probably we should bring two tents. Once we try with a lavo without footprint, and uh, that worked, but it's all very nice to have a floor inside the tent so you're more secure of the, the bugs to keep be kept outside. Okay, so now we have one plug left, which is for spare part in case I uh, drop someone or some out of my bag. What's going on? Yes. Hello. We're in front of a ready tunnel tent. But this is just the outside tent. Now we have to put up the inner tent. So here we have the inner tent. Zip lock all the way to the top. And we have a loop here to make the door stay open, like this. Now we have to find the, which side the door is. And it's here, we can see the netting here. Nice to get inside the tent when it's so hot outside and I'm wearing a down jacket. It has been about 20 degrees Celsius today, so it's uh, more of a summer temperature, I would say. Okay. Now we have to find out where to mount this stuff. This, the black fabric is the floor. And here we have the midsection. Now you probably don't see much more of them on legs of my ass, but I'm I am now mounting the, the inner tent 
to the O-rings. We actually have some O-rings all the way inside the bottom of the tent here. And this is the narrow end where uh, our feet will be while sleeping in the tent. We will keep... I'm sorry if the audio is very scratchy, but I'm working on the tent here. It's also very tight for a 42 year old guy. I'm a little scared what's going to happen to me when I'm turning 50. I should probably start working out and uh, keep myself healthy. My belly is starting to work its way out and don't. It's very hard to get rid of body fat these days. But, but when you turn 40, you don't really care what other people think. You, you lived such a long time. Oh, this rubber is a little okay. It's it's uh, morkent. It's morkent. Okay. I tried this tent one trip last season when I bought it and uh, I hung the tent, the tent up, uh, under my roof in this kind of weather to make sure it dried up very well so uh, the maintenance should be okay. So I'm very surprised if these rubber bands will start to tear up already but then again it's a tent to I bought for about 1500 kroners half price and not this is not the top series of the bad guns tents the the expedition tent which I have the helium dome 3 is much more sturdier and also a much more expensive tent and uh, it has been on its way with other, other people, not me, but other people to, to Greenland and uh, other expeditions. Wow, this is very tight, okay. Here we go. That, e that was easy, huh? Oh. Yep, here we are inside the tent. Now I'm going to, going to put it put inside my uh, inflatable sleeping mat together with my non-inflatable sleeping mat and also my uh, sleeping bag from, uh, yes, it's from... Uh... So, I just ordered from the internet this uh, Thermarest z light sleeping mat. Genius stuff, very genius stuff. We only have the rollables and uh, it's very difficult to roll them up every time. You should put it on your backpack and it rolls itself up again and you have to roll it once more. But this accordion style sleeping mat, very, easy to put together, it folds up and mount it to your backpack. And now I will use this underneath my inflatable exped down inflatable mat. So it's very, very important to keep uh, the silver side on the upside because that reflects your body heat back to you. Oh, plenty of room for two persons here. Maybe not three, but two. Two is very okay. And here we have the expat down mat, inflatable sleeping mat. With also an inflatable 
pillow. I don't really use that. I put my clothes inside this bag and use that for a pillow. You'll see in the B-roll how I inflate this stuff by pumping, doing CPR on the mat. Here we have two hands. This is where you should pump it up. I will put that bag inside the pocket there. And just start pumping. It's important not to pump up too much because it then is too hard and you will just roll off your mat. So I think this is enough. And I will get my sleeping bag. I will take all the excess stuff and put it into the pockets inside the tent. So I know where it is. Now the tent is ready to be entered. We have put up the outer tent and the inner tent. It was very easy, both of them. Uh, we have a sleeping mat underneath the inflatable sleeping mat, and we have a sleeping bag on top.